Amen. Amen. Master Chief Five. Master Chief Five. Talking very uh, important about the Nazarite. Uh, God's desire for all His people is to be today's Nazarite. Uh, why God is Nazarite? Because only Nazarite can lead in a lead in a cry, come back. ពីព្រោះមានតែទួតណាសរីតប៉ុណ្ណោះដែលអាចនឹងយាងទៅលោកប្រតិសក្លោះមកវិញបាន all his people. Uh, for the army. Only uh, the men. Uh, but for the Nazarites. Uh, men can be Nazarites. Uh, men also can be Nazarites. Uh, so everyone can be naturalized. Uh, God's not only someone. Uh, in the beginning, God's hope. Uh, God wants all his people. Uh, become a, a nation of a priesthood. Uh, means everyone. But because the uh, theory of the Israel. Uh, only someone can be a, a priest. But God's heart desire never change. All his people. อ่านู้คือตรงจังเอาไปเชียร์เรียร์บ่ตรงแต่งอ๋ออ่าพระเลสิสเตอร์บ่ปอนโปรบ่ปอนสไรเอ้ยวีอาฮิสพีพอลย
We need to consecrate our serving for God. Become the Nazarite today. Nazarite. Today's Nazarite. Uh, praise Lord. Uh, I, 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 I waiting, thank, thank you God. When I get saved, I thank you that I have a heart. Come to cry out my hoping for God. Uh, so, uh, from that day, uh, uh, the sky is open for me. Uh, eventually, I am so, not so excellent. Uh, because I have heart. I want serve the I say, Lord, I love you. Oh, Because I touch your love. I see uh, in the in world, everything is vanity. Oh, Only cry. Only God can satisfy me. Can make a need of people. So after that, I consecrate myself to God. Uh, I really enjoy, enjoy crying. But today, we still need a consecration to God again. Uh, because in our nature, man, uh, just our brother said, um, uh, the more old age we are, uh, the more. Uh, the more uh, furious, uh, furious we are. Uh, many times I say I come to transfer myself uh, for being to you. Uh, but I, uh, feel you. Perhaps can I do? Uh, how can we do? Uh, Praise Lord. Uh, we can come to uh, to him again. Again, again, and again. Uh, when I, I see my wife take care of my children, uh, many times I talk to my children. I will, I will give up you forever. Uh, 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 but after, after five minutes, he said, Oh, my dear, dear children. Okay. Uh, one time, one time, one time. And he more love his children. Children love again and again and again. So that's when I touch one sin. Uh, uh, love, uh, 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 not the one who never failed you. Uh, uh, the one who never fail, uh, failed you. Uh, but, the, but it's the one. When we fail you, we repent again. And uh, comes crashing to him again. Uh, I can testimony. Today I love Jesus more than before. Uh, I, I not only test, uh, when I am young people, I really love Jesus. Uh, some more, some sense, uh, testimony, oh, when I am young people, I love Jesus uh, very much. But, how about now? Now you still love Jesus. Uh, yes. yes. We need to say, uh, before I love Jesus. But today I love Jesus more. Uh, no, uh, no way. 
Oh, uh, to love Jesus. Uh, it comes clear our hope in to Him. Uh, open to Him. Uh, for this message attached at uh, uh, some point. Uh, first point. Uh, to us a uh, unique Nazarite. Uh, Ah, uh, only cry. Look at she pray Jesus Christ. Ah, we need to see less clear vision. Then the camel, ah, can you manage to ban the bazaar? The unique last right, Nazareth time we got is cry only. Look at she pray Jesus Christ, but no. And the why cry the is the nursery. How do I ban she pray Christ from the nursery? Nazareth time we got because he enjoy he eat the button. He put that. And uh, eat the honey. Uh, what is the uh, what is the button? Uh, button uh, is the uh, we, we can uh, we can read in this uh, point. Uh, okay. Amen. Yeah. 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 That's that's. It. Amen. Amen. Oh, so the butter uh, is the richest uh, grace. The honey is the sweet, sweetest love. Uh, that's why Christ can be a Nazarite. So how about us? Uh, similar. We need to enjoy the riches uh, grace and the sweetest love. That is our living. Uh, we know let's, uh, let's can't live it. We cannot be a nationalized today. Uh, today's nationalized. Uh, we now only have heart. Uh, uh, we have heart is very wonderful. Uh, but we also need to have way. Uh, when Jesus is uh, living on the, on the world, he said, uh, he living in God. And the same a similar who eat him. Uh, I, uh, on another body pop uh, eat him can be uh, can be uh, living him. Uh, so the message also taught us. Uh, uh, not uh, not the the one. Uh, but, uh, but we today's Nazareth uh, need to drink the new one. New uh, new white, new white, uh, 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 new white, uh, 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 Christ is the new wife for us. Uh, the more we enjoy Christ, uh, the more we can become the Nazarite, uh, today's Nazarite. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, dear brother and sister, uh, if you have eaten a new one today, if you have eaten a new one today, uh, someone think, oh, become a Nazarite is so sad. Uh, cannot eat the wine. Uh, that means cannot uh, have the uh, 
every enjoyment. Nếu mẹ ta cứ bông cứ ở miền sạch cái đây, ở ở sạch bay đi đi, khang ai phải đẩy. And the pre and the earthly pleasure. Mẹ ta sạch cái sạch cái đi đi, khang ai phải đẩy. Ở khác khác là living. Ở ta cao đu nơi bao phong dương bẹp nè. À, đi với ăn the earth no enjoyment. Ở cao đu nơi bao dương nó lớp phải đi đi mình cua ông nô sạch cái đây cầm sao đi đi, khang ai phải đẩy nữa lại. But eventually, oh, but I don't cry. All the Christian can testimony. Oh, Christian, they all are thirty-one years old. Ah, can testify. Ah, thirty-one years old. The Christian life is the best enjoyment. Ah, 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 because we have a new one. 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 Ah, they live in church life so many years. Ah, you see, you see their face. Ah, some long mother, some long mother. Ah, you see, you see their face. Ah, some long mother, some long mother. Ah, you see, you see their face. Ah, some long mother, some long mother. Ah, you see, you see their face. Ah, some long mother, some long mother. Ah, you see, you see their face. Ah, some long mother, some long mother. Ah, you see, you see their face. Ah, some long mother, some long mother. Ah, you see, you see their face. Ah, some long mother, some long mother. Ah, you see, you see their face. Happiness, people on the earth. The car flies, the moon dies, the sky is blue. Bong khot na le phan day. Ah, na ah today's naturalized living is happiness, happiness living. Ah, caru na le bong na sarik long pe sot ngai ki caru na do sky is blue. How can? Ta yeng ai sky is blue ban doi de biep na. How? Ah, how possible? Ta yeng ai can lang doi de biep na. Wang wei. Ah, nu mien mat show bai tai mui kot. Enjoy new one. No, cứ bỏ đi, cứ à, ông tôi tu ông nó ra thôi. À, ông là ông là sister. À, bọn con say từng à. When you see your husband not so happy. Nãy bây giờ bọn con khơi mà sao mấy đứa bọn con mình sờ sờ bạc. À, the best way. Lời đó bọn sao ông thôi đúng. Talk to your husband. À, bố bắp bố bố quát hả? Sao mấy? To drink the new one. À, bọn con à chia sao mấy ơi, xôm tơ pi sa. Ah, when I am young, when I came in the beginning, came married. Ah, na pe chom tu ta diep ka. Sometimes I work and go come home. Ah, pe chom tu lo mong do tiap bing. And my face is not happy. Na ah, na pe mok lo mong nhom ot sa bai diep. And my wife will see. Oh, say now you need to go to telephone to the brothers. Na pe ni chep phun nhom ot phai nhom tha. Oh, mong phun ca co tu tu sap tu brothers. Ah, fellowship nourish the another brothers. Tu ah mo thai mong phun say diep. Because he see the secret. Di co qua ah diep ah ah con mo khoi pi. When I'm not happy. When I go to Sheffer and other, when I enjoy the joy of the cry, 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 when I enjoy the joy of as the new one, as the wonderful life, then all the problems will be saved. When we enjoy crying, we will see the world is not worse for us. What? We will see. Another sin is not worthy for us. Only cry. Ah, so then I I touch. So brother and sister. Ah, we are God's people. We need to become a Nazarite. Today's Nazarite. By enjoy Him. Ah, we will become the Nazarite. And the Nazarite have a four point. Nazarite mean bun chum noi. Ah, very important. Ah, đại chi chum noi, quan trọng quan. I think we just the reading A B C D. Yeah, A là số A B C D. Ah, A. A. Ah, chum noi cái đó. Ah, let me know to A B C. Ah, 
เออระมังที่ปีเอบีซีดีอ่าเอบีซีดีโอเคโอเคนั่งเอาไว้ได้เตียตอมสานสบายคาไอแขนได้มันเก่าสกบาบีอาบีโอเคอาเมนอาซอร์ซอร์รี่อาอาซีทูเกตอาอะไรซียังอันอันซีจมูกเนี่ยของผมทูเกตโอเคมวยปีใบเหมือนเอาไอ้ครูนสาวหมอได้กาสลับสักยี่คือเชียนิมัตรุขาผู้นาสาริเมียนใจจุนเนียเลือสิเครสลายทางทอมเชิดดีอเมนดีนาสาริเจเนียได้ตรบาลใหญ่ครุ่นเจนปีสิเครสละอเมนโอเคอ๋อ we I just re re finish it อ๋อยังอ่านจบ and the brother Brother Chen, we are fellowship. Uh, the uh, the detail and the secret. Amen. As we all know, God originally wants every one of us to serve Him. Richard Mitchell, mean bom dong prati dam chong a yeng rok nia bom rau prong. When God created Adam, Adam was to serve God. Pe dai prong ban bom kat Adam mok prong chong ay Adam bom rau trong. And all His children were to serve God. There was not a single human being who was not meant to serve God. Surely that was God's original purpose. Because of man's fall, God was forced to choose one family, and that is Abraham. And God's intention was that all of Abraham's descendants would serve God. You know, Abraham set up an altar to serve God. So, That is a shadow of Abraham being a priest. And Isaac, his son, also served God. And Isaac's son, Jacob, also served God. We know that Isaac had 12 sons. God's intention was that all twelve sons should serve God. But they failed. But they failed. So God chose one tribe. Levi became the one who served God. You read numbers. Only Levi's sons can come near to the tabernacle to serve God. The Levi had three sons. Gershon. Kohath, 
Four. At Murari. Anu Mura. You know, we talk about this morning that if this were the tabernacle, the tent of meetings. Hello, Uto. Chúng bạn chạy chạy bước bánh thả Uto tí ní kì chì rô ngọ bò sọt rù tì chì trò xa chùm đùm. This is the east side. Uto tàn nơi khăn ní kì chì phí tư khăn kèm. Who is camped here? Who is camped here? Tà hò nè nà. Tà đặt nè tí đi. Now the entrance is toward the east, right? This is the the entrance to the tabernacle. Ba chọ chôl cứ đơ tư khăn kèm mê nè. Chọ chôl rô ngọ bò sọt. Who camp here? Ta nè nà chì nè. Ba đặt nè tí đi. Who? Ba đặt. Ah, Sister Mercy, who came here? You don't know? Oh, go back and read numbers. Go back and read numbers. Moses and Aaron and his sons camp right here. Moses and Aaron and his sons camp right here. And the three sons of Levi camp right next to the tent of meeting, right here. Hey, chúng đây câu tập bên đây là bọn Lê Vi, còn cô cô bạn Châu màu chết, là đây cái này trở xa chúng đông đừng. Khăn thô. Mary is here. Và Mary cứ nơi khăn chứ. Cứ sống đây xe. Và cứ sống cứ nơi khăn lách. And cô Hoa is here. Cô Hoa cứ nơi khăn thô. Is that clear? Of the three sons, although Kohath is not the oldest one, but he was the main one. Only Kohath's sons can handle the things of the holy place and of the holy of holies. Và miễn tại Koha mình đã phân đoạn đài chặt chành để rip trầm cái riêng xong phải đẹp được nông ti bò giật bầm phật. The children of Gershon and Merari and Merari they handle the outward thing, outside thing. Chúng đây cơ sở hai nông Mora khi tổ tụ khó trai ở nông đại thành Khara. The sưu bản giờ nào mà the standing boards. Bà bận tiếc cái đà đại bận chỗ. On the outer court, you have many bronze pillars. And you have many bronze sockets for the bronze pillar. You have the covering. Those were handled by the sons of Kohath and Merari. You know how are they transported? They have cards. Right? They have cards. To carry the pillars and the sockets. So, Kershan and Murari, they have cards. What about Kohath? Kohar has no, no cards. They are the one that handles the things in the holy place and the holy of holies. If you have no cards, what do you do? What do you do? James. Ah, listen. If they have no car, how do you carry all the utensils in the holy place and furniture in the holy place and holy of holies? Bọn mi rồi tết đặc ta thua giang đôi đặc đảm bài đặc trình chun rồi bỏ rồi bỏ kêu sang hà rơm từng ó. Đây là công ty bỏ rồi sắt, đây là công ty bỏ rồi sắt bỏ phật. They carry it on their shoulders. Nói cứ cô kì say, rồi còn li để nó smart. Right, on their shoulders. Then where do the other tribes live? 
và ní kí chì rù bí ếp đài ám bố đi khu nâng Ôi đưa đây lếp Ta phú kê rù nâng đào rù bí ếp nà They live far away from the ten of meters Phú kê rù nâng chẳng ai chênh bí trò xa chẳng đông If I remember correctly Judah and two other tribes on the south side Một chăm chăm mình khó tế cứ ám bố Judah hay đừng ám bố bí tiết cứ rù nâng khẳng kào trò xa Reuben and two tribes On the west side, bà Ruben, bà Ruben luôn ở hàng cào trở sao? And then Dan and two other tribes on the outside. Và hai đứa ông bố Pi Tiết, Dan, từ nơi hàng cào. Right. And then on this side you have Judah. Hai nơi hàng này đi cứ miền Judah. But who is closest to the ten of meeting? Ông bố mươi ná đầy nơi chất trò xa trong đông chính trị Who is closest? Ta ông bố mươi ná nơi chất trò xa trong đông chính trị Ephraim here, Ephraim here, Dan there, Reuben here, and Judah there Và Dan, Dan là tiên đi Và hay Judah là tiên đi Right, Judah, Reuben, Reuben, Ephraim Và Abraham, Abraham, Dan Hay nâng Dan But who is closest to the Ten of meeting. So now, now, no, just to sell to them, Chingy. The Levites, right? I got like the Le Levi. The sons of Levites are closest to the ten of meeting. Và chẳng phu cô Levi phu kê bỏ trả sao nơi chết trả sao chấm đông. You know who are the elders in the church? Who are the elders in the church? They are the leading serving ones, right? They are the ones that is closest to Christ. They should be the one that is closest to Christ. You know, many young brothers like to be elders. Và bộ phân khu mênh khu mênh chú chất thua chi bộ phân trả tông When I was young I like to be an elder too À bây giờ trong đời khu mênh chú chú chất thua chi bộ phân trả tông này I don't care how close I am to Christ I just want to be an elder Chúng bọn nơi chất thì bọn ta chăm chăm thua chi bộ phân trả tông Họ nơi chất bởi kích bọn ta chăm thua chi bộ phân trả tông That's why I should not be an elder Chúng chăm mình thua thua chi bộ phân trả tông này That's why I should not be an elder That's why I cannot be an elder. You want to be an elder? You want to be a key serving one? You have to be close to Christ. In fact, your motive should be correct. Your motive. We should just love Christ, not the position of eldership. If you are close to Christ, surely you will be a leading serving one. So, so young brothers, forget about your dream to be an elder. And sisters, forget about having your husband be an elder. Just love Christ. Be close to Christ. Then whether you have the position of an elder doesn't matter. Surely you'll be a top serving one, right? So, God originally wants everyone to serve Him. Because of the failure, eventually only the Levi can serve God. What about the other tribes? No chance. No chance. On me, okay? No chance. On me, okay, man? Except Numbers chapter six. 
ยังแอดบํารุงประชาชนบ้านได้ไอ้ออฟเดอะทริบออฟมานาซาอูตาเทียมมาปีอัมโบมานาซาไอ้ออฟเดอะทริบออฟมานาซาไอ้ออฟเ
I, I know his wife. His, she, was in Hong Kong. she was in Hong Kong in the training in my class. <laughs> so I never met him until like yesterday. You live in Taiwan, right? I was just I was just in Taiwan last month. Taiwan has a good life. Right? Is, is life good in Taiwan? Yeah. Life is good in Taiwan. Brother Mark, have you been in Taiwan? You have been in one day. Oh, life in Taiwan is good. Food is good. Everything is good. What are you doing here? Why do you give up all the good things in Taiwan? Why do you come to Cambodia? Better life. <laughs> well, frankly, I disagree with Brother Samuel. <laughs> Taiwan is so nice. You come here, you have to give up a lot of enjoyment. Oh, you brothers come from Malaysia. I go to Malaysia many times a year. Malaysia, life is good. You're welcome to come to Cambodia. <laughs> Why do young people give up all the good life and the pleasurable life? Because they begin to eat butter and honey. Christ as our richest grace and our, as our sweetest love. That is the right motive for giving up everything. So when I was 16, I decided to give up everything. I, I told my parents I don't want to go to America for university. America, America is the world. I gave up the world. I think many Asians are still dreaming the American dream. The Vietnamese may like to go to America. And the Malaysians like to go to Australia. And the Taiwan people like to go to Canada. By the Lord's mercy, we need to learn to enjoy Christ as the richest grace and the sweetest love. Then you will choose to become a Nazarite. Who is a Nazarite? One who voluntarily give up all the pleasures of this life. Last night I told some younger full time serving saints. We all need an initial and a fundamental dropping of the world. The more, the earlier you do it, the better. The more absolute you do it, the better. When I was 16, I thought I was absolutely gave up the world. You believe it? 
You think so? I think so. The only problem is that I have left the world and the world hasn't left me. I left the world outwardly, but the world is still hanging on to me. Hanging on to me. So in the following years, the Lord has to teach us to leave the world altogether. I know there are some young people here. You're in the church. You're in the church. You're a dear brother or sister in the church. Outwardly, you have left the world. But if I, I am not sure if the world has left you inwardly. One time, my wife was with me here in Cambodia. A full time serving one came to my wife. Indicating how poor they are. So I asked my wife, what you, why is she telling you how poor she is? You don't know. But we think we know a little bit. Are you hiddenly? Hoping to receive some money. Your heart may still be clinging on to money. But have you been have you left money from your heart? A poor person may still have money hanging on to his heart. Maybe this brother is quite wealthy, I don't know. Does it mean that he loves the world? Not, not necessarily. He may be a little bit more wealthy than that brother. But money may have no hole in his heart. So it is not how wealthy or how poor you are. It is where your heart is. What is a Nazarite? A Nazarite is one who has left everything. It's good that many young people have had an initial consecration to the Lord. You have an initial abstaining of the things of the world. Surely the Lord needs to test us more and more. Surely the Lord has to free us inwardly more and more from anything other than Himself. How long will that process take? How long will that process take? I don't know. Depends on you. The more you enjoy Christ as the richest grace and sweetest love. The more you have the power within to leave everything. Some people, some people say, hiddenly, I still love the world, so I better not stay in the church. Some people say, 
I hiddenly still love the world, so I better leave the church. Everybody in the church is too absolute. I can't do it. I said you got it exactly wrong. Because you still have a hidden love for the world, you better stay in the church. That's my testimony. I left the world as a 16-year-old. But gradually I realized inwardly I still have a love for the world hidden somewhere. So what should I do? Leave the church? If I leave the church, I don't think I have any hope. But, by the Lord's mercy, I didn't leave the church. I know that there is still something in me that hangs on to the world. Stay in the church. Stay among God's people. Here is the butter and the honey. Here is the richest grace and the sweetest love. You stay in the church. Surely the Lord will gradually deliver you from the heart, from all the worldly pleasure. So that's the first point. What is the second point? What is to be a Nazarite? A Nazarite, a Nazarite cannot cut his hair. What does long hair mean? Read 1 Corinthians chapter 11. God has given the women the long hair as a covering. The long hair is a sign of submission. Right? So the Nazarite cannot cut the hair. That is a sign that they are submissive to God. The world is full of rebellion. A rebellion against the parents. Rebellion against the government. Rebellion against the law. The world is full of rebellion. What about a Nazareth? A Nazareth has long hair. Nazareth means Meaning that he takes God as his covering. That is a sign of submission. That's why it is a beautiful scene for the sisters to have long hair. It is a sign of submission. A Nazarite is one who submits himself voluntarily to God. You know, in the world today, Everyone talks about his own rights. What is your right? I'm exerting my rights. What about a Nazarite? What about one who serves God? One who serves God is one who voluntarily submits himself 
to God. The worldly people think that if I don't have to submit to anyone, then I'm free. That's not what the Bible says. Look at the world today. Those free people are the most miserable people. I lived for 16 years in America. America in many ways is a wonderful country. But let me tell you the truth, America is way too free. Children do not want to submit to the parents. Students do not submit to the teacher. No one wants to submit to anyone. Everyone wants to exert his or her rights. What is a Nazarite? A Nazarite is one who has given up all his rights to God. A Nazarite is one who submits himself. 100% to God. Let me ask you a question. Very Vincent. Brother Mark, come here. This brother is very free. He submits to no one. He, he does whatever he wants. This brother submit himself to God. This one can have many girlfriends. He's free. He can have a wife and plus another three girlfriends. This one submit himself to God. God says one husband, one wife. And he has one wife and no, but no other women. Who is more free? This one more free or this one more free? You tell me. You tell me. This one may get all kinds of disease. He may even die of the disease. Is he free? Is he free? Oh, I can do anything I want. I can have four women at the same time. Is he free? Eventually, he will be the most bound person. This one eat butter and honey. He chooses God's way. He becomes a Nazarite. He submits himself 100% to God. God said one husband, one wife. So he'll have one woman, his wife. Who is more free? Who is more free? America is like this. Eventually, more than half of the marriages end up in divorce. If everybody is a Nazarite, there will be no divorce. Which one do you choose? Which one is more free? At the end, this one is more free. If a society, everyone is a Nazarite, let me tell you, that society is the top society. 
If in a society everyone is like this, that is called America. Of course, you have other places that are equally bad, if not worse. I just came back from Africa. Then Africa, everybody is so free. Now Africa, they can kill people. I just heard a story. Somebody kill somebody and get away with it. So free. So eventually, they become the most bound by corruption. So may the Lord be merciful to us. You, you think you are free. You will become the most bound. Today in the Western country. More people died of AIDS. There's more divorces. Even murder rate is so high. You like to live in Cambodia or you like to live in America? I'm so happy I'm in Cambodia today. Let me tell you the truth. Uh, several years ago, I told my wife. I told my wife, I said, I go to this wealthy country, I don't feel so good anymore. Uh, I go to these wealthy countries, I don't feel so good. I don't feel at home. People are too free. You know, Recently in Germany, they passed a law. Yesterday, yesterday, I came into Cambodia and I have to fill out a form. It says male or female. I'm a male. My wife is a female. In Germany now you have a third one. You're not a man, not a woman, you're a diverse. Let me tell you, God will judge that very quickly. God is long suffering in many things. But that's one thing that God will not wait for His judgment. Why did He destroy the earth at the time of Noah? To use the English King James Version, it translates that word as strange flesh. Why did God send the fire to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah when Lot was living there? Because another kind of strange flesh. Surely God will judge these very evil things. What is a Nazarite? A Nazarite is a counter testimony. The world is moving in the wrong direction. 
A Nazarite is one who stands one with God. Who say Amen to God? Whatever God says, we say Amen. Who say Amen? Whatever God says, we say Amen. Whatever God says, we say Amen. Let me say Amen. Let me assure you this. So me yom ban chia ba phon. The only free person is one who is fully submissive to God. The more you are submissive to God, the freer you will be. May the flood, which is carrying the world away, not affect the church. May we be a counter testimony. The local church is surely a counter testimony. Sometimes the Lord will not only put you under a person, sometimes the Lord will put you under a circumstance. You may not like that circumstance. But the Lord arranged sovereignly a particular environment for you. What do you do? You learn to submit to that environment. When you submit to that situation, God's blessing is with you. What I'm going to say next, forget about it if you don't have the grace to take it. But I believe that many will have the grace to receive my next sentence. If you have the grace, don't choose anything. Whatever the Lord arranges, just say Amen. Amen. I'm happy to tell you that I never choose the one with whom I serve. Brother Ida asked me to come here to serve. I don't ask who am I serving with. Brother Wu? I like Brother Wu, he's okay. Oh, brother, brother Samuel Liu, oh, no, 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 no. If Brother Liu is here, I'm, I'm not here. Learn not to choose. I never choose. Whatever the brother arranged, I just say amen. I never choose where I live. I have moved a few times in my life. Eventually, the Lord sovereignly kicked me out and sent me to America. I didn't want to go, but the Lord sent me there. Thirteen years, the Lord inwardly clearly says, go back to Hong Kong. I fellowship with the older brother. The brother said, mm, maybe, maybe good. So I go. Three years later, inwardly, I became very clear. The Lord said, go back to America. So I go back to America. And then three years later, the Lord said, go back to Hong Kong. So I go back to Hong Kong. I never choose. That's why I have been blessed. You want to be blessed? Don't choose. 
course, the Lord is very merciful to me. The Lord gave me a wonderful wife. Wherever I go, she just follows me. I don't choose. Wherever the Lord sends me, I just go. I'm so happy to say that my wife also never chose. I say, Barbara, let's go back to America. I say, okay, we'll go back to America. Three years later, I say, okay, Barbara, let's go back to Hong Kong. She said, okay, let's go back to Hong Kong. That's why she also is blessed. That's why she also is blessed. You choose, you have to be responsible. If God chooses for you, God is responsible. You want to be responsible or you want God to be responsible? I'm so happy that God is responsible for me. Hallelujah. Then what do I serve? I never choose. One day the Lord said, Okay, you start serving in Anaheim. I said, Okay, I serve in Anaheim. Three years later the Lord said, Okay, now you go serve in Cyprus. Okay, I still serve in Cyprus. One day the Lord said, You go serve in Hong Kong, I go serve in Hong Kong. Six years later I didn't leave Hong Kong. Six years later, I did not leave Hong Kong. But the Lord said, stop serving in Hong Kong. Oh, I'm having a good time in Hong Kong. I love the brothers and they love me. They're not kicking me out, so why should I leave? The Lord said, time to go, you just go. You know where I went? You know where I went? No. I went to Vietnam. That's why I met Brother Ben. He was still a young brother at that time. Now he's a leading brother. Very good. So I served there for six years. I go there four or five times every year. <laughs> One day the Lord said, Good enough. You go. I go. I still love the brothers and sisters in Vietnam. I don't know if they love me, but then I think so. <laughs> right, Brother Ben, you love me, brother? Amen. Well, where do I serve? I don't choose. The Lord chooses for me. You know where the Lord sent me? Oh, the Lord sent me to India. Oh, the Lord sent me to India. The Lord sent me to India. The Lord sent me to India. India. I am a very healthy man by the Lord's mercy. There's only one part in my body that is weak. My stomach. I have had ulcer for 16 years, uh, 26 years. No, actually 33 years. I have had ulcer for 33 years. <laughs> India has the most spicy food in the world. Well, the Lord is responsible. You know, in India they have a lot of dengue fever, right? You know what's dengue fever? It's called bone crushing fever. I go there eight times a year, I never get dengue fever. My, my wife only go once every few years, she got dengue fever. 
bạn đây một con chim quạt tơ đây, và bạn chăn quạt tơ đây, và đó cái chăn lòng chim con chim đó. My son has only been to India twice. He got dengue fever. Con pro bọc chim tơ đi, và phí đong cốt cao chim con chim đây. One time I was sitting there serving, and I was surrounded by mosquitoes. Và ngày mũi chim bằng cùi bầm ra chim bầm vô số, và tai biến mũ ho. Three mosquitoes. Tiếng đó ngọc bay cả bàn. Two mosquitoes. Và tiếng đó ngọc pi cả bàn bay cả bàn. Two mosquitoes. I sat there for an hour and a half fellowshipping. I didn't get bitten once. God has been blessing me. But still pray for me, huh? Don't choose. God's blessing is in His leading. And our, our blessing is in our amen in God's word. Whatever the Lord arranged, Jesus said, Amen. Hey, Brother Vincent, you come to Cambodia. You have been here four and a half years. How long will you be here? What's the answer? Right. What's the answer? What is the answer? No choice. I know. Just say translate. The answer is don't choose. The answer is don't choose. If you're here until you are 85, is that okay, Brother Vincent? Is that okay, sister? Ah. Oh Lord Jesus. Take the richest grey and the sweetest honey. Then it doesn't matter. Right? Submit to God's arrangement. The last point here is very good. It says that in our in our submission is power. Why is your work powerless? Because you choose. Learn to not choose. God's power will be with you. Okay, next point. A Nazarite must not live by his natural person. Nazarite No natural affection. Many people serve according to natural affection. If I come from Taiwan and Brother Itai come from Taiwan, ah, we are good friends. Ah. I'm closer to this brother than that brother. He come from Malaysia. This brother come from Taiwan. Luckily. That's natural affection. Right? In fact, everything natural should not be used and cannot be used by a Nazarite. Even when you speak, you know, brother Itai, learn not to Use your natural strength. Some people think that when they speak, if they if I'm stronger, people will be impressed. I said you are using your natural strength. My trust is not in my natural strength. I trust in God. 
I trust that the word I speak is from God. God doesn't need your help or my help. Some people feel that if they speak in a strong way, that is frankly a sign of a person who has yet to learn to give up on his natural strength. ແລະຕອນຕືນະໄດ້ຖືຢ່າງໂດຍຊ្នះນີ້ຄືຊິສັນຍາບັນຈັກຖ້າກອດມັນຕອນບານບາຍບາຍຈາວກໍາລັງທ
any word of God out of his mouth. He and I were serving together in Malaysia one time. So afterwards, I wrote a letter to that brother. Copying the leading co-workers responsible for that region. I said, brother, please learn to not use your natural eloquence. Your natural eloquence does not give life. Learn instead to speak the word of God. The word of God can give life. And the word of God can accomplish everything for God. So learn not to use your natural strength. Then there's a, no, he says, even our natural enthusiasm. Because our natural strength, our natural ability. We need to learn to stay away from everyone, everything natural. Then finally, a Nazareth, a Nazarite must be one that stays away from any kind of death. We Christians by the Lord's mercy, is quite sensitive to sin. We hear any sinful things in the, among the saints right away. We have a strong reaction against it. But do you have the same strong reaction against anything of death? Some sisters love to gossip. Did you hear about sister so and so? You haven't heard? Oh, I better not say, I better not say, I better not say. I better not say. You already said it. You just love to gossip. Do you know that brother so and so lost his job? Why are you talking about it? If your brother lost his job, you should just put a small offering in the offering box for your brother. Why are you talking about it? Gossiping is a kind of death. Criticism is another death. I know of a brother. I know of a brother. We have been serving with him now for about five, six years. He loved to talk about weaknesses of others. This brother is no good, that brother is no good, this brother is no good, that sister is no good. No one is good. What does that mean? That means only I'm good. Can such a brother build the church? Such a brother can never build a church. Right? Learn never to criticize the saints. Any brother want to be a leading brother? 
I don't know if there's any leading brother here. Well, I know Brother Ben is a leading brother. Anybody who wants to be a leading brother is a fool. Because all the things like the gossip about you. And a lot of brothers and sisters like to criticize you. You want to be a leading brother? Only a fool wanted to be a leading brother. When I was young, I loved to be a leading brother. That means I was a fool. I'm so happy I'm not a leading brother. One time, Brother Paul Wu said, Oh, Brother Ronnie, shouldn't you be an elder? I said, No, 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 no. I am so happy I'm not an elder. Anyway. You want to be an elder, brother? You'll be the target of gossip and criticism. Don't are all death. Right? You know, death spreads. Death spreads. Leading brothers should be very watchful of the of the flock. You know, the Israelites, several times death spread among the Israelite people. Moses says to tell Aaron to take the censer, put the incense in order to stop the death. So a Nazarite is one who has nothing to do with that. What does that mean? That means the Nazarite is one who stays in the realm of life. Eventually, it was through the Nazarites that the Lord was able to change the age. Samuel was a Nazarite. Samuel a Nazarite. I think he is of the tribe of Ephraim, if I remember correctly. So he's not a Levite. Naturally, he can never be one who serves God. But his mother gave him to the Lord before he was born. He became a Nazarite that turned the age. Because the time, I better stop. Thank the Lord for the Nazarite. I believe that before the Lord's return, in all the local churches, the Lord will surely raise up men in Nazareth. They will be the ones that will end this age. Okay, I will stop here.